Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com and uh, today we're going to talk about Vista. Wait, I know it's the V word, but uh, I think it's important. I know some organizations are still using Vista, uh, at least as their uh, group policy creation station, and I need to give you, well if you didn't need another reason, a little bit of a reason to jump off of Vista from your group policy management creation station onto a Windows 7 machine. I'm going to show you a little bug that I think is important for those people in that situation. So let's check it out. So here I am, if I'm on a Vista machine, I've got this GPO called GPO123 here, and I right click it and I click edit. Everything's great. Everything's going fine. You probably, you might not have even noticed there was a problem. You go ahead, you click on some stuff, you click enable or, uh, well, I don't really want that one. So I'll click on this guy here. I'll click on uh, this other guy here. You get the idea. Things are working just fine in Vista land. And then let's say somebody else uh, gets a Windows 7 computer and they also have their own group policy management console here. So they want to also edit that same GPO or create a new GPO. That's all fine. Everything else is going great. Now the reason this is all working so well is that um, there's no right now overlap of, of any of the definition settings. The problem is, and you can see, check this out, if you've ever hovered over administrative templates, you'll see that it says Policy definitions are being retrieved from the local machine. Aha, the local machine. Same thing on Vista. Uh, if I was editing the same GPO and I clicked edit, it will also say the same thing. It will say policy definitions are retrieved from the local machine. So the idea is that you can either get your definitions locally, the Vista machine is using its own local definitions, or the Windows 7 machine is using its own local definitions. But wouldn't it be great if you could centrally store all that stuff? And, and you might have heard of the central store, and that's great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast on through this uh, and create the central store. I've got my policy definitions stored locally on this machine. I'm going to just copy them into the central store, which is policy definitions here, and copy them into the, um, the domain name policies folder and there's policy definitions and there are all the GPOs uh, and there's another utility policy pack that also leverages the central store. So now all of my policy definitions are there in the central store. Let's take a look at our Windows 7 computer first. Let's go ahead and close that guy out. Right click over, click edit here. Now the next time we click on the edit for this group policy object, it should now say, aha, policy definitions are retrieved from the central store. That's great. So now we've, we've got all our definitions from our Server 2008 R2 or Windows 7 machine up in the policy definitions central store. That's great. But what about our poor Vista admin? So let's go ahead and take a look. So our poor Vista admin, dun dun dun, he's going to have a problem. He clicks edit on a new GPO. He dives down under administrative templates and dun dun, he has this kind of problem. So what is this problem uh, exposing? What it is, is that these latest, greatest ADM templates available from Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2 uh, are not fully backward compatible if your, tar if your management station is a Vista machine. So I don't know, this one says it's the terminal server.adml, uh, uh, but it doesn't matter. Long story short is that if you don't want to have to fight the, uh, and figure out which uh, settings and ADML and ADMX files are causing the problem, the advice is very clear. Just use a Windows 7 uh, uh, GPMC and you're good to go. You won't see these uh, nasty error messages anymore. All right, that's it. That's my quick tip of the day. And uh, if you have any questions, I uh, hope to see you on the forum. Or if you would like to email me directly, just get in touch with me at gpanswers.com. Thanks so much. Take care.